Hey everybody, it's Lavender Town, and today I'm going to be showing you four years of art school homework. So in first year, there was a lot of focus on representational art and drawing the basics. We could fight it all we wanted, but they were going to make us draw some fruit. It varied how much time we had to draw these things, but usually they only gave us around 20 to 30 minutes, or at most the rest of the day. Since this is actually the part two to my previous how to replicate art school at home video, I'm actually going to give you guys sort of a list of assignments at the end of each of these year segments so that if you do want to try this out at home, you can. So this assignment was a weird one. They wanted us to paint something ugly on purpose, and with this one they wanted us to leave a mark of our body on the paper and then draw around it. This one was kind of the bane of my existence. Um, I ended up getting an A by some miracle, but it was really frustrating. <laughs> um, basically, we had to draw a illustration, a very large illustration out of simple shapes and render it very smoothly with a pencil, which I am horrible at. But the whole point of the thing was just to get really good at um, perspective and value and just really put a lot of love and detail into some simple shapes. So this was the final in my drawing class. Basically we had to make a mask out of different found objects and um, render it out really nicely, just like the chessboard assignment. And it took forever, but again, I managed to get an A somehow, so luckily I got to keep my scholarship. So if you do want to sort of simulate the first year that I had at ACAD, here is a condensed list of the assignments that I had to do. Obviously I had a lot more assignments than this, but I'm basically just trying to give you sort of a summary of what it was like. Give it a try! So year two is when things got real. I had the hardest time out of all my years, probably second year, but it was also the one where things started to get fun. This is all the process work I did for a fairy tale type silhouette assignment that I got in the illustration class this year. I decided to do the story of Scheherazade, which is a tale about a girl who saves her own life by telling cliffhangers the night before her execution. I also had some heinously boring assignments, like this one about drawing a set of hands. Um, basically, it was every artist's nightmare where you just draw hands over and over again. There were some type projects, which I really was bad at, but basically in this one you just had to take the ingredients of a craft Dinner macaroni and cheese and present it in a negative, positive, and neutral light just by putting emphasis on different words depending on whether we wanted the customer to like or dislike the macaroni. <laughs> This project was a long one and a doozy, and we only got it because we were in Canada. Basically, they had us do a series of four illustrations about a Robert Service poem, which if you're not from Canada, you probably won't know who that is, but he's a famous Canadian poet who talks a lot about like how cold it is in the Yukon in prospector times. I did it based on the poem The Shooting of Dan McGrew, which is a story about a gambling man and a miner and a woman named Lou. And the whole thing was supposed to be drawn without any characters in it, just environments, so I used mirrors and shadows to get around that because I wanted to be a character designer, and frankly, it is absurd how many assignments we had to do that specifically said you couldn't put any characters in them. It drove me insane. For some reason, I could only find the process for this project and not the project itself, so here I'll just tell you a little bit about how a process book works. So typically what you have to do is make a bunch of thumbnails, which are just tiny versions of the illustrations you want to make. You write down your rationale, just explaining yourself in words, and you sort of bundle it all together with reference pictures, and you give that to your teacher to show your work. I had a whole class that year called Info Illustration, which is basically just an illustration course where you combine illustrations with typography in order to make informative posters, like this one on Deja Vu. And this map project, which I actually really enjoyed because I was able to make a map of Night Vale, which is one of my favorite podcasts at the time. I also had to do a fair amount of graphic design work, like designing these fake sleeves for a Wes Anderson DVD collection that doesn't exist. Along with this assignment where we were given a choice of articles and had to make an illustration based on it, I chose the article about the correlation between CEOs and psychopaths. So for those of you playing at home, here is the set of your second year homework. Um, I picked out some of my favorite assignments from the year and brought up a few that I wasn't able to find but that I remembered fondly. 
I think that the overall theme of second year was being able to illustrate something from words or concepts into your own visual drawing. So that's what I tried to focus on in this set of assignments. Year three was all about animation for me. This was a rotoscoping project, which is basically where you trace a actual video and you make something new with the animation you create. And this was a stop motion cut paper puppetry project about fear. Um, and one of my greatest fears is claustrophobia, so I made this project about a girl stuck in a box. This was a digital cut paper project, and this was 2D frame by frame flash animation. This is a snippet of the assignment that took the longest. It was a pencil hand-drawn frame-by-frame -frame animation about a ballerina, and this is my favorite. Outside of the animation class, I was starting to assert my own style more and demanding to do more digital work. If you don't feel like you're drawing in your style and in your own medium by the time you're in third year, you should probably talk to your teachers and make sure that you're on the path to get to where you want to go. This is the year I started working on Unfamiliar for the first time seriously, and I incorporated it into my classes whenever I could. So for the third year homework set, I mostly just focused on any assignment that I thought taught me a lot. I really recommend that you guys try out animation. If you don't have any programs that can do animation on the computer, or if you're not a digital drawer, you can do flipbook animation just fine. Um, and I highly recommend stapling together a pack of papers so that they don't move around on you and using a makeshift light table or a real light table if you have one to do frame by frame animation. It will teach you a tremendous amount about drawing, about posing, and about movement. By year four, things are basically the opposite they were in year one. You have loads of freedom and say over what your assignments are like, and you only have about two to four of them per class per semester. This was a animatic project I worked on for a long time, basically outlining a scene from the pilot of a show that I wanted to make one day. And this is the real difference between year four work and any of the other years, is that I and a bunch of the other kids that I was in class with still treasure and still want to work on the projects we worked on in fourth year, whereas most of the other projects in the other years I don't even want to look at anymore. This one is a bit of an exception though, even though it was a fourth year project, I had a pretty bad time with it, but the assignment was to show a full story with only one word and one picture in each of the six panels. So I did mine about an abusive circus ringmaster, a young girl acrobat, and the circus tiger that she would escape with. This assignment was to choose a quote and make a poster based on it. I chose a quote from Night Vale. Again, I was a huge Night Vale fan through college, and the quote was, Nature will kill you and make new things from you. One of the best projects I ever had was to make a development book for a fake game. Um, I made one called Dinner Date, where you play this little seductress vampire character who is always starving and super hungry, so she's always looking for more guys to drink the blood of. I was kind of playing with this idea of like the femme fatale sort of trope being played up and really cartoony and silly. Um, so I designed a bunch of characters based on that. They also wanted us to make fake merchandise for it. Amazingly, this actually overlapped with when I was building this YouTube channel, so if you want to watch me actually design this character, I have that on video on the channel. Plus, since I was brand new to YouTube, you can hear my extremely anxious recording voice that I used to have. Fourth year was when I really pushed my teachers to let me do my comic and other things I was interested in as my assignments, and luckily they let me do that. So there was a lot of time where I was developing Unfamiliar as part of an assignment. This allowed me to continue updating it through my senior year. My final project in my illustration course was to make a children's book, so I ended up doing one about a girl who lived in a garbage dump underneath a very rich floating city, and one day a sort of princess character falls to the ground and she has to save her, and they sort of form this friendship even though they're from two different worlds. Um, I really liked working on that one, and it was a project that I do hope to continue working on one day. 
So here is the last set of homework for you. Uh, I limited it down to only three giant assignments to be more in line with how my fourth year went. In general, in fourth year, what you wanna be focusing on is the next steps and preparing yourself to go into the world outside of art school and find the job of your dreams. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it was enlightening uh, for you. This is the kind of video that I really wanted to see when I was about to go into art school because I really didn't know what to expect. So I hope that this gives you some idea of what it will be like. Feel free to share it with me if you decide to do any of these assignments. I'd be very curious to see them. Uh, I can't always respond to everything I get sent on Instagram and Twitter, but I always look at them and I really enjoy seeing them. So please do feel free to do that. Thanks so much for staying till the end, and I'll see you in my next video. Big thank you to my patrons, including Cal Pompong, Kat Pupchino, the Dr. Casket, Elizabeth Alban, HG, Hanuki, Hope Chilsom, JJ Jade, Blep, 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 Matthew Kunke, Micah Dactyl, Okamore, Ollie, Rachel Singh, Sergeant Pendulum, The Artsy Moose, Yaboy ST, Zixith, and Zoe Stardust.